Good morning to you, my friends, wherever you may be in the world today. Alan Clements here in Los Angeles, California, United States of America, April 10, 2021. Uh, this is the 10th talk in a series based on my new book, Extinction X-Rated. Today's talk is specific to not only the country of Myanmar or Burma, uh, the soul of my book, the soul of my life, soul here is analogous to the word Dhamma. It's a talk directed to the venerable Sidigu Seiro in Myanmar, the venerable Bhikkhu Sidigu Seiro, and the Maha Nayaka Seodaw Council, uh, based in Myanmar. And if I may take my time today, this is quite a spontaneous sharing. It came to me last night. It may very well be the most important sharing of my entire life. If I passed away, I am grateful that I'm able to bring forth that talk today to you, Venerable Sir Sidigu Seiro, and to the other noble members of the Mahanayaka Seiro Council of Burma, the people, the men, the bhikkhus, who reside over the nearly half a million monks and nuns in the country of Myanmar, and who uphold if I may say from the outside, as a humble son of the Buddha, an American who was blessed to be in your country for a short period of time, uh, nearly four wasa, as a bhikkhu, under the tutelage of my preceptor, the Venerable Mahasi Seiro, I had the name that he gave me, Uegasara. I was blessed to have five teachers in that lineage, all whom I considered my Kalyanamitas, the Venerable Mahasi Seiro. Seda Usu Jata, Seda Us Pandita, Uzawana, and Seda U Janaka. Today, sir, to you, we have met. I met you at your monastery in Rangoon some years back. You are honorably presented in my books that I co authored with my colleague Fergus Harlow called Burma's Voices of Freedom. I interviewed you, I had a conversation with you about the role of Dhamma and civilization and politics. May I beg of, implore those who know fluent Burmese, may I encourage you to please, you need not my permission, to translate this sharing. And for those of us in the world, those of you in the world who care, be a force multiplier, translate the talk, and share it as far and as wide as humanly possible, both in the world and specifically in Myanmar, and pray it goes into the inbox of the Venerable Sidigu Seido and other members of the Maha Nayaka Seido Council in Burma, but also too. His Holiness the Dalai Lama, other Buddhist monks and nuns in Cambodia, Vietnam, Indonesia, India, Tibet, Pakistan, Afghanistan, America, Canada, the EU, Sri Lanka, Thailand, all over the world, even in Bali. Please, may I encourage all of you who are listening, translate it into your respective language and share it worldwide. It may very well be for my humble opinion, the most important talk that I could give on behalf of the civil disobedience movement, the freedom-loving people of Burma, and specifically to the conscience, to the consciousness of the Venerable Sidigu Seido, an appeal to you, a Dhamma appeal. And what I mean by Dhamma here is, loosely speaking, the teachings related to Gautama Buddha, the Buddha, the trans-religious teachings to overcome the internal enemies of greed, anger, and delusion, 
and to elevate their opposite states, the illustrious, beautiful qualities, the deva dhammas, the virtues, the radiant virtues of the human psyche, of metta, of loving kindness, of karuna, of compassion, of upeka, of dana, of moral integrity, of spiritual forbearance, kanti, and the power of panya or wisdom, direct action to keep alive the power of freedom. To me, freedom is not just a state of mind, but it's a way of living in civilization to the respect of Dhamma principles. How does one overcome these internal enemies and how does one conquer those forces within and to elevate their status in civilization, in society? An appeal to you, sir, a Dhamma appeal, what you've dedicated your life to, Dhamma. We stand at a precipice today knowing that Dr. Sasa, the honorable representative of the People's Parliament in Myanmar, in New York, to the United Nations and to leaders around the world, he is making it clear on behalf of the people of Burma that if there is not intervention, we are facing a genocide. We have already seen a history of genocides in Myanmar. I reported about this in the Karin state in 1990, called Burma the next killing field. We have seen ethnic cleansing in the Rakhine state. We have seen the decimation of people in Kachin state, Shan state, Mon state, Kaya state, and the Buddhist people all throughout the nation of Myanmar, tortured, imprisoned, killed. And we're seeing it today, bullets through the head of boys and girls, torture victims, cut throat to navel. Acid poured down the mouths of elected officials, Da Aung San Suu Kyi, yet again imprisoned. The country is under a terrorist threat by this man, Ming Online, and his SAC, State Administration Council. The world is focused on Myanmar. We're aware that if there isn't intervention, there will be a genocide. There already is an ongoing shoot to kill anything, anywhere, any human being that you see that moves. A torturous terrorist campaign of evil. We're at a very epic archetypal moment in human history where if there is not intervention, and it seems as if the United Nations will not intervene or other elected democratic leading countries around the world. They will not put men and women in uniform with arms on the ground in Burma. It seems that that's true. That leaves what I would call the Dhamma intervention. This is coming right back to you, sir. If I may be humble in my presentation, I wish to appeal to your conscience, to your lifelong commitment to the Dhamma, to the Buddha, Dhamma and Sangha, your noble work throughout the world, your respect by world leaders, by other Nobel laureates around the world, including Da Aung San Suu Kyi. And we all know that you are a friend, not just of the people, but a friend of Ming Online. You are in a very unique position to exercise the depth of your understanding and do something that is perhaps unprecedented in modern times. Allow me to take my time here. You, sir, have direct access to Nepido, along with the Mahanayaka Seiro Council. But you, sir, all of you representing the conscience, the dignity, the Four Noble Truths, the Buddha, Dhamma, and Sangha, freedom itself, you represent internal freedom, dignity, ethical, moral integrity, you have direct access 
to Ming Online, and this is what I recommend. The world is awaiting a Dhamma response. Those who protect the Dhamma are protected by the Dhamma. We are looking for a Dhamma intervention here of the most urgent appeal to stop the massacring of the people. We know and you know, sir, we know and you know, sir, and the people know they are called to arms. How many more times do we need to hear from the leaders, the sub-leaders, the entire civil disobedience movement, the people? How many more times do we need to hear? There is no future under dictatorship. That means there is no future for the 54 million people, including you, under a totalitarian evil dictator named Ming Online and the men and the women who were colluding with him to kill, terror, torture, persecute, give death sentences to, and murder at will the people of your country as the world watches you as the Pope of Burma. The moral integrity of the people of Myanmar you're entrusted with the role of conscience and the word hiri and otapa, moral shame and moral fear. Without embodiment of those two qualities, human beings will do anything, as we're witnessing all over the world, and especially in the absence of hiri and otapa, in the mind of Ming Online, look at the behaviors in the absence of his respect for Dhamma. Your role, sir, is to uphold the Dhamma, to act on behalf of the people who give you robes, medicines, support, finances to your committees to uphold the teachings of Buddha. What do I propose? I see no wisdom in waiting one hour longer than to announce to Ming Online that you, sir, whomever you wish to bring, the other Maha Nayaka Sayadaws, or just you yourself with your coterie of followers and supporters, you tell Ming Online, I would like to meet with you immediately. I leave this up to you, but you have an event that could be broadcast worldwide to show the United Nations, the American government, the Congress, the Senate, all the various governments in the EU, in South America, worldwide, a televised, live-streamed event I would suggest it. I would say play so high stakes as a planetary authority on the transformation of overcoming Kilesa, one's internal enemies. You are the guardian, sir, of that ancient timeless process embodied by the Buddha, brought forth by the Sangha for 2,600 years. You are an elder son of the Buddha that upholds, obviously, the Dhamma of overcoming internal enemies. And if an individual does not overcome her or his internal enemies and acts out through the blindness of the absence of Hirinotipa, we have evil, we have war, we have rape, we have genocide, and it's happening in your country at this very second to state the obvious. And if it doesn't stop, the world is basically seeing and saying by the leaders who have left the country there will be a genocide. There already is mass murder. There already is the formation of a federal army ready to train, probably with outside mercenaries, 
explosives, taking guerrilla tactics to the country, to the cities. The land of blessed, beloved, Dhamma-based Myanmar may very well be the bloodiest land on the planet, sir, in a matter of hours, weeks, or months. It's happening. We see it happening. You know it's happening. And the world is doing very little other than preventing money and normal discourse through finances to Ming online. But you, sir, are in the country. You, sir, hold the Dhamma torch. You hold the radiance of the Buddha. You hold the radiance of the Dhamma. You hold the radiance of the Sangha. 300,000 fellow bhikkhus, 400,000 tilashins just in your beloved country. Think of all the other nuns and monks and all the other Buddhist traditions worldwide right now that could watch, that will watch. We're waiting to watch you, sir. Demand of Ming Online an immediate, urgent meeting in Napido, or he comes to your monastery in Rangoon or in Mandalay, your choice, his choice together, I suggest film it, show it to the people of your country, turn the internet back on, put the satellite dishes back up, let us bear witness, let the United Nations Security Council watch you in dialogue with Ming Online. Make it an epic modern day sutta that transforms the world by what you share with me online. You are the man. You are the Buddha. You are the Gandhi. You are the next seventh great Buddhist council in action. You have a chance, sir, to shine a light on Buddhism and Dhamma and the power of metta, karuna, mudita, upeka, the Eightfold Path, you have the chance to radiate the power of those who protect the Dhamma will be protected by the Dhamma. You get to intervene with the Dhamma, the power of the Dhamma. You get to keep alive the radiance of the Dhamma here, 2,600 years after the Buddha passed away, you get to keep alive the truth of the meaning of the Shwedagon Pagoda, which has been pillaged by Ming Online. You get to restore the gold and the rubies in consciousness by bringing forth the radiance of Hiri and Otapa in dynamic action. And you talk to Ming Online. They are words of Dhamma, sir. Listen up. Halfway through. Demand that meeting. If he says no, then you have your answer. You've done your best. Until then, we are waiting as the ethical, the ethical embodiment of sila in action, of dana in action, of wisdom in action. We are waiting for you to call that meeting. You have the meeting in Napido. There you are. What would I say? This is what I think I would say. This is what I would want to hear. Or allow me just simply to share my own internal process. Take from it what you find valuable. And again, anyone who's listening who understands Burmese, Please translate this. You need not permission. Share this worldwide. Put it into Burmese. Put it into all languages worldwide. Get it circulated. Get it into the inbox of the venerable Sittagu Sayadaw, the Maha Nayaka Sayadaws in Myanmar. Get it into the inbox of the Dalai Lama. Get it into the inbox of all religious leaders worldwide, all Buddhist nuns and monks. Let this resound. We need Dhamma intervention immediately. This is an appeal to Siddhagu Sayadaw, known for his long-standing relationship to Ming Online and his Thamada, the military, the armed forces. You have access to this man. Act to access that relationship. The role of a Kalyanamita, you know, I bring to mind in my own mind 
something I'm always brought back to feel the power of when Ananda was walking with the Buddha in the ancient discourses. And we hear Ananda tell the Buddha from behind, it seems to me, Lord, that at least half of this Dhamma life is good or noble friendship. And the Buddha was said to have said, he turned around and said, no, Ananda, the entirety of the Dhamma life is noble friendship. The entirety of the Dhamma life is Kalyanamita. You, sir, are a Kalyanamita to Ming online. The role of a Kalyanamita, you know better than me. Someone, a man, a woman, a voice of truth, the power of truth, the radiance of the Dhamma is brought forth with the sword of Satcha. You have compassion with the power of truth, with the lightning of wisdom to penetrate the fear, the greed, the ignorance, the lack of hearing in Otapa. Your role is to crack the conscience of his delusion with your commitment to being his Kali Anamita. The world is waiting for you to act in that respect. Oh, you, a Kalyanamita, my humble experience, only four wasa with Mahasi Sero, Sero Upandita, Sero Usujata. I met Mengun Sero, the leader of the Six Buddhist Council. The role of the Kalyanamita, as I understood it, was someone who refused to collude with your ignorance, refused to be in complicity with your delusion. They had a higher regard for truth for the betterment of you and other, based upon telling you directly things that may be opposed to your sense of reason. But nonetheless, the Kalyanamita stood firm in his and her own role. My commitment to you, Ming Online, speaking to you, Siddhagu Seiro, as your Kalyanamita, your friend in the Dhamma, the upholder of the Dhamma as I understand it in the Tipitaka of the Buddha's teaching. I represent the people of Myanmar. I represent the good Buddhists around the world. Sir, the truth is you are doing evil just as the Buddha, as you know, sir. When he met Angulimala and Angulimala told the Buddha, stop, I want to kill you. I'm telling you, Ming Online, as your Kalyanamita, as a senior most member of the Sasana and Sangha in the world, you must stop your flow of kilesa. Stop your flow of greed. You must cease immediately, right now, in front of the world community, live streamed to all countries, all nations, to keep alive the radiance of the Dhamma. Here in this beloved country of Myanmar, the sanctity of life, the peaceful coexistence of all religions. Sir, stop your flow of delusion. Venerable Siddhagu Sayadaw, this is not only not much to ask of you, sir, it is your duty as a senior most member of the Sangha in Myanmar and in the world. It is called upon for you to immediately, urgently go to Naypyidaw, call upon Ming online and tell him as your Kalyanamita, as the representative of the Dhamma, the Buddha and the Sangha in Myanmar and in the world, the people, you must stop right now your murder, your torturing, your assassination, your looting, your raping, your poisoning, your incarceration of the people. We have a democracy here. We have been living under your military drafted constitution since 2008. We've had elections that were free and fair. You're the police. You're the military. 
the civilians of our country have spoken. They have voted for the elected officials that you've incarcerated and killed. You are doing wrong. You are crucifying and killing the Dhamma. You are ruining the dignity of the Dhamma and the reputation of the Buddha worldwide. You are lessening the longevity of the Sasana in our beloved Burma. I, as the representative of the Sangha, I, as your Kalyanamita, are telling you, Ming Online, stop, just as the Buddha said stop, to Angulimala. And the Buddha said, I have stopped my greed, anger, and delusion, but you, Ming Online, have not. And I am here to tell you, as a Kalyanamita, through the power of harmlessness and the power of right speech and action, stop your killing, your persecution. Protect the Dhamma. Protect you. Point two. I think it's your role, sir, to tell Ming online, if he hesitates, your deep understanding and relationship to the Tipitaka, the teachings of the Buddha. You know as well as I do, as the people of the world and the people of Myanmar know, there are 31 planes of existence, Kama and Vipaka, action and result. We all know, we look at the insect world, we look at the animal world, we understand the role of petas, demons. We have seen that. We have heard about devas, brahmas. We understand the role of consciousness. Sir, Ming Online, your Kalyanamita is telling you, you're destined for the Apayalokas. You claim to be a Buddhist, but you're acting as a demon. You're acting like a peta in a human body. My duty as the representative of the Dhamma and the Sangha and the Sasana in the world and in Myanmar, your Kalyanamita is telling you, sir, stop your destined to become a peta. That means unremitting dukkha, suffering. Just as the Buddha in our ancient discourses spoke to the leper on the outskirts of a gathering of nuns and monks, and no one could figure out why the Buddha was addressing this disposed, diseased leper. And it turned out, as you know, Ming Online, and I'll remind you as your Kalyanamita here speaking to Sirigu Seiro, that leper in a previous life spit, it said, on a Buddha, scoffed and spit on a Buddha. Ming Online, you are spitting on me, your Kalyanamita. You are spitting on other monks and nuns in this country. You spit on the Shwedagon Pagoda. You are spitting on the Buddha, the next Buddha. You are spitting on Dhamma. That behavior with a bullet through the head of a child, the torture of civilian people who want democracy and freedom, you are killing your future by being reborn from time immemorial for time into the future, you will suffer in hell. My role is to tell you the truth and to divinely intervene in this very moment. Stop, like the Buddha said to Angulimala, or you will be destined for hell. Siddhaguseiro, that is your duty to tell Ming online in person the truth of his behavior and equally, equally, presuming you have the skill and the courage to rise up into the radiance of your role and tell him the truth. And he looks to you and asks, what should I do? You want to get him to the point where he is asking you with utter sincerity, 
Kalyanamitasur, Sero Ji, hands clasped in front of him, kneeling before you, he on the carpet, you in a chair, showing deference to you out of respect for your role as the senior most member of the Sangha, a global representative of the Buddha, the Dhamma and the Sangha and the Sasana and the Dhamma, what shall I do, sir? And you, sir, know exactly what you should tell him. The world is waiting for you to speak up and to act. Ming online, immediately get on national TV. Apologize to the people. Release Do Aung San Suu Kyi, the President Win Mint. Release every human being, the 3,200 others that you've detained. Immediately release them and let democracy shine brightly in our beloved Myanmar. And you're going to ask me, what about me? What about my family? What about my money? What about my cronies? What about my fellow commanders? How can we survive? They hate us. They want us dead. I am frightened for my family, for my own future. What will I do? How will I be protected? I don't want to die, sir. And your sir, your role, your words are to say, Ming Online, I will do everything to encourage the people in Dhamma forbearance. Deep Kanti. I'm not going to ask them to forgive you, but I'm going to ask them to refrain from persecution and harm of you. And just as Tan Shui put, Ne Win under house arrest, you, sir, are under house arrest and suggest to the country that is where you will live out your life, under house arrest, in the very house that you have and I will do everything along with the other Maha Nayaka <clears throat> Sayadaws in this country, along with the highly esteemed officials in all the ethnic groups, all the religious groups. We will do all that we can to come together to agree upon that your future is under house arrest. And if that is not suitable to you, sir, if you do not trust the people, then I suggest you be given safe passage with whomever you want to take to China or any other country that is willing to give you asylum immediately and leave Myanmar and take anyone and everyone who wants to go with you on your private plane or however you want to go, go immediately. Forget the apology, but depart Burma. It's over for you. You're done. And I would suggest that you take up the Dhamma to the deepest ability of your heart and attain, if possible, some state of redemption. Practice and cultivate your understanding of the Dhamma. Venerable Siddhagu Sayadawji, as I come to the end, I appeal to you on behalf of the world community. I appeal to you on behalf of the United Nations. I appeal to you on behalf of Dr. Sasa. I appeal to you on behalf of Do Aung San Suu Kyi. I appeal to you on behalf of the President, Uwin Myint. I appeal to you on behalf of all Buddhas that have ever lived and all Buddhas that will ever come. I appeal to you by all members of all Sanghas that have ever lived, that will ever live in this wide samsara that we all are a part of. I appeal to your conscience, your hiri and your otapasar. I appeal to your moral integrity. I appeal to your love of Dhamma and the future of freedom both now and in your country and in the future of this planet and this cosmos, I appeal to your highest order understanding to act. 
You know what I am saying to you to be true. Overcome, if there's any reticence, any resistance, any hesitation in you based upon whatever it is by unrecognized kalesas. We all have the forces in us, but rise up with your mindful spiritual intelligence and use the sword of your wisdom to cut through any apathy, any fear, any doubt, and rise up and act immediately. We want to prevent a genocide in Burma. We want to preserve the sasana. I want to return to Burma. I want to meditate there. I want to bring foreigners there. Preserve the radiance of the Dhamma for decades and perhaps centuries to come. It's in your hand, sir. Telefast live that conversation. Let the world see the power of Dhamma dialogue. Let the world see the power of redemption. Let the world see a Kalyanamita in action with an out of control Angulimala moment. Let us see a sutta in action. Imagine, sir, if there had been video cameras and live streams at the time of the Buddha. Imagine hearing the Buddha talk to the leper on a video or live, telling later after he became enlightened that that leper had spit on a Buddha and lived in hell for eternity until he was reborn a leper, diseased and an outcast, but he had the parami to hear enough to become a sotapanna. Imagine if we had a video of that. Sir, Sirigusero, Mahanayaka Seros of Myanmar, all Buddhists worldwide, let us see a sutta in action. Let it be preserved for the future of the sasana. Let Maitreya, the bodhisattva to be in Tusita right now, let him or her, all members, all people in all dimensions who attained Sotapanna, Sakadagami, Anagami, under the last Buddha, let them pay witness to watching you in Napido tell Ming online. Live stream to the world to stop his kilesa, be under voluntary house arrest or flee immediately with your money and your family to China or to Russia or any other country that will give you asylum. Release Do Aung San Suu Kyi, release U Win Mien, release all prisoners of conscience in all the prisons in Burma, call off your soldiers, put the guns back away and go away and give freedom and democracy and peace a chance in our country. In you, sir, the civil disobedience movement was nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize. It is almost assured that you too will be nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize. You will also be nominated for the most noble individual in human history that we have known that took the power of a complex circumstance into his own conscience and used the ancient transformational weapon of Dhamma without blood and entered the mind of Ming online with conscience and hiri and otapa and conviction and gave us a new modern expression of compassion and action. And Ming online weeps with redemption, begs the people for forgiveness, voluntarily goes into house arrest or chooses to leave and live in safety in asylum in some other country. Call off the genocide it's in your hands, Venerable Sirigu Seiro. May this video be circulated far and wide. May it be given to every member of the United Nations, to every member of the United Nations Security Council. We want a Dhamma intervention to avert any more terror and bloodshed and horror and let Burma rise up to a new radiance of democracy infused with the transformational radiance of Dhamma that you, sir, have kept alive.
through the power of your metta, your karuna, and your wisdom. I will close with a quote adapted to this present moment. The gentleman Martin Niemöller, the famous Lutheran priest from the Nazi Third Reich era of World War II, made the famous statement that first they came, the Nazis, first they came for the trade unionists, but because I was a Lutheran priest, I did not speak up. In your country, first they came for the doctors and nurses, but I was a monk and I sent metta only. And then they came and got the Catholics, but because I was a Lutheran, I did not speak up. And then they came and got the trans and the gays and the lesbians. And because I was a celibate Buddhist monk, although I felt compassion for them, I did not speak up. They came and got the school teachers, but because I was a Lutheran priest, I did not speak up. They came and got the Jews, and I felt bad, and I meditated more vigilantly, but because I was a Lutheran, no, I was a Buddhist monk in Myanmar, I didn't speak up. And you know where I'm going with this, sir. You have the power of freedom and safety in your heart. One man representing a half a million members of the Sangha in Myanmar and millions of more worldwide and the birth of Dhamma for those yet born. You get to uphold the radiance of the Dhamma throughout samsara. People, deities, devas, petas, brahmas worldwide in all dimensions of reality will weep with Dhamma joy, sir, at your courage to go to Nepiro and demand of Ming Online, listen up, just as the Buddha spoke. Just as the Buddha spoke, stop, Angulimala, stop. And you, sir, then they came and got the Tilashin, but because I was a bhikkhu, I felt somewhat protected. I felt horrified. I said how wrong it was, but I didn't really go to Nepiro and demand a meeting with the man behind the persecution of the Muslims, the Catholics, the Christians, the Buddhists, the nuns. And then they came and got the young monks throughout the country. And although the genocide wasn't complete, and because I was a senior Sayadaw and respected by my friend Ming online, I felt horrified and I finally felt a shiver of fear. Oh my God, will he come after me and my fellow Maha Nayaka Sero Bhikkhus? And because I didn't speak up, he came and got me. And there was no one left to speak up. The genocide was complete. Well, the world is watching you, Siddhagu Sayadaw. The world is honoring you, sir. The world is encouraging you, sir. The world is ready to celebrate you, sir. Go to Nepidaw. Demand a meeting with Ming online and say the Dhamma straight, step by step as a good Kalyanamita would. Talk to his conscience. Offer him house arrest or asylum, the release of the elected officials and political prisoners, call off the terrorism, and let's give Dhamma a chance and democracy a chance to thrive and to heal in this battle zone.
in Burma that we pray does not become the next killing fields any more than it already has. The power of Dhamma is in your hands, sir. This is my appeal to you, my Dhamma appeal to you, sir, to please act immediately today.